Okay, this is the uh, alpaca inflation bag. And I uh, made a little spacer modification so that you don't have to thread it in as far. This one was just hacksawed quickly, but I'll uh, cut a more accurate one. So there's only about uh, two threads going into it. It makes turning it in really quick. I haven't glued this on yet, but you'll see how much quicker this is then. Okay, we're done. No twisting. Nothing. We have lots of wind here. Okay, you'll see how quick that was to uh, take the inflation bag off with the spacer on it. This is an inch and a quarter to a one inch uh, reducer coupling, which I just crudely cut it off with a hacksaw. I wanted to show that for the people that don't have access to a uh, powered equipment. So thickness at the thinnest spot is about uh, 10 millimeters. You don't want to go any more than that, so keep it less than that. Imperial is uh, 396 thou. So I would say three eighths of an inch would be about right on an imperial measurement. I put some shims on the uh, smaller diameter end of the uh, coupler so it fits snugly in this aluminum tube that I can use as a support for while I'm cutting it. Then the thing won't go flying. I'm putting some shims on the saw to clear the end of the flange so the pipe stays parallel to the fences and bottom table. Now I want to mark it off at my three-eighths of an inch or I suppose nine millimeters or somewhere about there would be good. Fine tooth blade would be uh, better and you want to feed slow so it doesn't uh, grab. still hot off the press just got to deburr it left a little lip here so I'll just finish off with a sanding block last step is to bond your spacer to the inflation bag I'm just going to use uh, some cyanoacrylate glue or crazy glue. Some plumbing cement might work even better for this. You don't want to get any on your uh, threads. Certainly wouldn't take a whole lot to uh, keep it there. A little bit of an activator. Oh, I should. Uh, yeah, let's go on this side. Okay, hold it there for a few seconds and we're good to go. So that's all there really is to that. Quite simple and effective. A lot less hassle of. Uh, having so much bag twist to unravel when you uh, use the inflation bag.